back to World of Warships with your host Michion. Um, Dio. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like squashing some people. So Dio, it is. Yesterday I was so tired. You have no idea. I was playing games and I was just. I was just losing left, right, center, back, and forward. Like, six game playing, I think I won one. One of them. And I was using good ships. I was using my Zao and my Tayo. And uh, I was. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. Must never repeat that mistake. Gotta tell you, that was a bad mistake. Um. If only I could actually get a match, we could start this up and I wouldn't have to be talking crap about bad things that happened yesterday, possibly. Matchmaker, please. 25 battleships, 2 aircraft carriers. Where is the issue? I do not see an issue. Is this going to be like it was with um, the Leviathan uh, battle, co-op battle? Oh, there we go. We're in a game. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, fluff yeah. So. We have encountered. Fuck's sake. Come on. I've started the recording, haven't I? I have. I have started the recording. I was just worrying for nothing. Okay. We have people at Des Moines. Multiple Japanese destroyers. The worst destroyer in the game to deal. No, actually, it's kind of a it's kind of a tie between the Germans and the uh, what you might call it Japanese destroyers, isn't it? Like they're both shit at dealing with carriers. That's what I was getting at. Um. So, Des Moines, Hindenburg could be an issue. The Tirpitzes and the Bismarck and the Monarch and the Missouri. Well, the Missouri maybe. But the other battleships, I don't think they're gonna be much of an issue. Um, first thing first though, as you probably know by now, we deal with the destroyers first. So. Who dies first? That is the real question here. Who who wants to get cross dropped and torpedoed into a bloody sinking oblivion? We will see soon enough. Don't don't get you get your horses under control. No need to get your panties in a twist. Also, we have a Minotaur and a Zaun in a bookie. Now I'm the, the Minotaur by himself, if he is AA spec, can be all the all the support AA I am ever going to need. Zhao and Ibuki, not really, not so much. Um, what else? We also have a Missouri and actually, I almost identical loadout like Turpit, two Turpits versus one Turpit and two Bismarcks. Hmm, and the Bismarck. Yeah, almost identical loadout. Interesting. Um, it's actually quite problematic that we, yeah, as I was saying, it is quite problematic that we only have one decent-ish, well, depend, depends if he's AA spec, if he is AA spec, he is just a no-fly zone for the enemy carrier, if, however, he is not fully AA spec, um, it might be different. Also, I think the enemy carrier isn't uh, doesn't have air superiority, which is uh, interesting to say the least. However, is that, is that really okay? What the fuck? Why isn't he engaging him? I am so confused. Let's try this again. Over. 
Okay. That was so weird. I was sure I was engaging him. Oh well. So now let's. Okay. Let's uh, try that again. Let's go the other way, actually. Yeah. Well, the surface isn't exactly ideal, but oh well. And yeah, as you can see, the the uh, the fighters are completely unfazed by that Minotaur's AA. So I'm gonna assume that uh, he's not at all AA effect, and uh, that this might turn out to be a rather tough game for me. Well, maybe because the enemy uh, carrier is fully into air superiority, of course. This does not mean he is actually going to win the air battle, it just means he has three fighters for me to deal with, which is quite a pain in the ass, and hello Kagero. I was wondering when one of you buggers was going to show up. Oh, if I under it, I may have. Nope, I haven't. Just on the nick of it, but I haven't. Right then. Come towards me, Dive Boma. I will save you, but first you will be sacrificed. There you go. Oops, no, no, no. Just come over here. Question is, is he going to strafe me? Not gonna take the risk. Uh, it looks like he's not actually, but still, that was a good thing I didn't take the risk. Mm. It's grief. There you go. And yeah, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have the uh, air superiority uh, kill, captain kill. Is that air supremacy? It's air supremacy, isn't it? Yes, it's air supremacy. I'm sorry. I was. I get so mixed up sometimes. Right then. Um, now that we've killed one of the DDs, let's start dealing with the big boys. For example, this Bismarck. There we go, two fires, that's good enough. Okay. You, you sure you want to engage me over a Benson and a Z? Okay, sure. Now, can I kill this fella here? Possibly. Yes, I can. Nah, nah, he's, he's not gonna avoid that. That's a goddamn certainty. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything to worry about as far as AA is concerned. I mean, that Bismarck and Turpitz, even combined, they really don't have nearly good enough AA to phase me. However, flying above them for half an hour in order to get to my target. Come on. Release your payload. There you go. Now, did I, will I get a flooding? That's the real question. Yes, I will. That that was a close one. I, I that would have been annoying if I went. I would have went for all that trouble just for two torpedo hits. Now he's gonna flood for quite a bit of time, and that that is that is a big a big part of the damage portion, if you would, of. Um, Playing as a TV is timing your strike right, and I didn't quite do that. Uh, why would why do you need me to spot the enemy's TV? What good is it gonna do? Are you gonna shoot him for, from 17 kilometers away? I don't think that's gonna be much good. I really, really don't. Um, I do have a surface to deal with over half. Okay, now, 
Uh, do I? Ooh, hello. You gumo. There's the enemy fighters. They still haven't given up. They're down 25 planes, but then again, I'm kind of low. Hmm, that's true. I am kind of low on fighters. Like, not really low, but just. Eh. Oh, he has all his fighters here. Right. Sure. Be like that. Where are his? Has anyone seen his actual attack plane? I'm not sure how it happened. Come on, follow me. That should be good, and I do believe that's all of his fighters, but I'm not sure about that, don't take me up on my word here, but I'm pretty dang sure that those are all of his fighters, so that's good, that is good. Um, let's see if we can deal with this guy with just the one drop, a torpedo bomber, sorry, not a drop bomber, no. Um, that's actually it, oh, No, we seem to have failed, and that Des Moines is 100% sure uh, defensive, uh, like AA failed it because he just oh there we go my God. he just absolutely obliterated my uh, and the turret killed the Minotaur. How surprising! Um, as I was saying, he was absolutely, definitely AA spec, because he was just, sh he just shredded my uh, squadron in seconds. So that's gonna have to stay away from him, that's for sure. In the meantime, finally, <laughs> this uh, little uh, attack squadron is actually, actually uh, trying to do some good to his team. Not that I have much expectation of him actually managing to get here, but uh, he's fine. <laughs> I appreciate the effort at least. Uh, so that um, hmm. they're off. they're taking a lot of time to deal with those guys, aren't they? Like that Bismarck could be five times dead, and that as well as same for that Turpitz, to be honest. And yet somehow neither of them seems to be even. Like, you know, now they're dead, but it just feels like it's taking them a little bit too much time, you know what I mean? Almost as though they're not actually very good at, fi at you know, doing damage and killing ships. Which makes me slightly concerned about that Des Moines, to be honest, because that Des Moines, well... Let's just say that if they don't kill that Des Moines, I sure as hell ain't gonna. The, uh, the AA is just too much. Oh, he still has fighters. Why? Oh, he still has a lot of fighters. Okay, then. That is a bit of a problem, actually, because I'm, like I said, like I stated before, I'm kind of running low. Not too low though. Not yet. Let's just disengage now. Pull them back. The last thing I want to do is deal with fighters when I'm out of ammunition. Why is he going for... Okay, that was a quick... Quick. He quickly killed that float fighter though. And our turpits, yeah, yeah, turpit AA is gonna do little to damage. Um, no, well, <laughs> beggars can be choosers, I guess. I mean, that, that's all the support AA I currently have. Yeah, he's not shooting any of them down. To be fair, he was under quite concentrated. Oh, oh. Quite concentrated, high explosive fire. Well, he is shooting them down though. 
gotta, gotta say, gotta admit. I'm quite surprised, actually. Uh, but he is shooting them down at quite a respectable rate. Yeah, look at that. So down to two. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's stop complimenting our perfectly meager AA, which is, to be honest, mostly effective because on uh, just keeping him over. Oh, okay. He's keeping him over him. Yeah, I should be eating one at least. Very least. Yep, there we go. And. Yeah, um. Oh. Okay. That's looking good. Come on. That should be at least one hit. No flood though, but he's dead anyway. And now we're just cleaning up the mess. Oh, meh. Bit of an overstatement to be honest. Let's just put a little fire on this Nimberg, shall we? If I can. Hindenburg, if you stack Hindenburg for a um, um, AA roll, it is very formidable. Very, very formidable. It actually rivals uh, the Des Moines' AA. I mean, it doesn't surpass it in any way, of course. But it does rival it quite, quite well. A, a, an a, a fully AA Spectrum uh, Hindenburg is a no-go zone for any TV of any tier. Uh, just letting you guys know in case you wanted to piss me off and set your Hindenburg for AA, that would definitely piss me off. And the thing is, unlike the Zhao, the Zhao has a reasonably, a, a fairly weak potential. Even if you fully spec it for AA, it's not really a threat to a uh, CD. It just means that it's not gonna be a good target to go for because you're gonna lose most of your planes doing it, but you can still definitely obliterate it because it's not actually gonna be shooting your planes down that much. Hindenburg very different story. Um, the potential for AA is immense. It's mostly it mostly has to do with a high caliber um, anti-aircraft, like dual purpose anti-aircraft uh, guns, and which essentially means that if you put um, manual control for AA guns, I think he's dead. Yes. Manual control for AA guns. That thing becomes just a monster. As far as AA is, in, is concerned. Oh, the enemy CV is over here. I I'm, I actually didn't see him over here. Look at him. Hiding away. All hidey like. Alright. Finally, two BBs. Uh, did you have a mission to kill BBs? I'm confused. Alright, let's see how bad this guy is. I mean, he lost with. A fully um, full dedication defensive no um, air superiority build, so he's not very good, but he is decent enough to notice the fact that I'm about to strike him, and I'm not noticing the fighters and not the fighters. Sorry. The, uh, the dive bombers, yeah. Fuck. That should be at least at least one, maybe two. Yeah, it is two, but it's not a flood. And I'm looking for the flood. To be honest, but I'm not. I'm not quite getting them. Nope. That uh, definitely a new. Nah, nah, nah. It's definite nah. Well, I got the I got decent damage and I did seven kills, so I guess that's acceptable. There is no way of directing this. It's just complete RNG. Nah.
Now, I had a small chance of actually killing him, and I could have, I probably could have killed him if I was actually like making the stray, letting my team do most of the damage, and then coming in with the torpedo squadrons. But I'm impatient, and that, I'm gonna have to call that okay. 53 plane kills against an, a fully air superiority build, uh, Essex. Although he didn't have. Well, he wasn't very good, was he? I mean, with all due respect, he wasn't very good at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. And if you did, please leave a like and a subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.